Hello everybody, it's Christ Kids Time. I'm Pastor Katie. I'm Miss Crystal. And I'm Wednesday. If you are a Christ Kid or a Christ Kid at heart, can, can you, you give, give us a, a big wave? wave? Wednesday, how did it go with your neighbors last week? Well, it started out great. I asked my new friend to play on the playground and we had a blast kicking the soccer ball. But she was wearing these really fast green shoes that made the ball go super far and fast. But the other kids laughed at her and said that her shoes were too bright. They all had black and blue shoes and they were laughing at me for playing with her. I don't know what to do. Oh, Wednesday, I'm so proud of you for playing with a new friend, and I'm sorry those other kids were not kind to you. Let's think for a little bit about what you could do in situations like that. Hmm. Hmm. Our pastors always have good ideas. Let's think about today's sermon. Pastor Morris is visiting the story of a little boy named David who loves God very much. He was part of a group of people called the Israelites. And then there's this huge giant, nine feet tall. He was part of the Philistine group. His name is Goliath. And he challenges the Israelites to send their best warrior to battle him. And the winner of the battle gets to be the boss of the other group of people. It was a big deal. But all of the Israelites were afraid of Goliath because he was so big and strong. No one wanted to battle him. Except the tiny little boy, David. David knew God was on his side, and he trusted God to help him defeat the giant. The problem was that David didn't have any big battle weapons. He only had his slingshot. And Goliath had a huge, strong sword and lots of armor. Oh my gosh, what happened next, Miss Crystal? David used his slingshot and a few stones he found on the ground, and he spun his slingshot around and around. And then what? And David said, I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. And he launched the stone, and down went Goliath. Wow, that sounds like a superhero movie. Was David a superhero? Nope, he was just himself. He knew who he was and whose he was, just like Mr. Rogers reminds us. That's a great story. I wish I was brave as David was with those kids on the soccer field. Well, you don't have to be like anyone else to be brave Wednesday. You just have to be yourself. God made you exactly right, and God gives you everything you need to be your best self. That means that when something happens, like those kids laughing at your friend, you can remember everything that God teaches us about standing up for our friends and fighting kind meanness with kindness. What could you say to those kids the next time they're not being kind? I could tell them that I like my friend just the way she is, and that we all make choices to be special. I could also tell them that I want to be her friend and that we're going to have pie time together. That's exactly right. And just like Pastor Katie said, each of us is special because we were made by God to be exactly who we are. We shouldn't make different choices because of how other people feel if we know we're doing what God would want us to do. Oh man, that makes me feel better. I'm going to try that this week. I guess we could all have more courage like David. Yes. And remember, it was David's trust in God that helped him defeat Goliath, not his slingshot. So use your words when you're in battle, not weapons. David was in a real battle, life or death situation. Most of our battles are in our hearts and our heads, with our words and with our feelings. I'm very glad for that. Let's pray about that Wednesday this week so you are ready to be just who God made you and help your friends see how great that is. Yes, Pastor please. Katie, will you pray for us? Absolutely. Dear God, thank you for making each of us special and unique. Help us to remember who we are and how much you love us, even in our battles. We love you so much. Amen. Amen. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye Wednesday. Wednesday. Now, if you're a baby through second grader here in person, you can meet your teachers in the gathering space and head to the chapel to learn more about how we can be courageous and who God made us to be. Adults, please make sure your children are checked in and you can pick them up from 103 after service. All right, Christ kids, have fun.